beats us to the punch. Richard, what an incredible performance. Your third bare knuckle fight within four months, your third victory, but this was a spectacular one, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. We'll just, we'll just keep coming till death. We've got, we got a massive step up for the opponent. But listen, he's never been stopped, and I wanted to stop him. And I've just made a statement in here, so they're all getting it now, I told you. We're not playing in this game. It's no game to play around. They're all having it. So this might have been a BKFC record. You had him down nine times. It's incredible, you stopped him. Nobody else was able to do that. So how much of a statement is that for the whole division? Mate, this big he's not going down him. He's going till death and that just showed it. He was getting up every time. He is a true warrior. So fair play to Caleb, he's, he's one hard mother And yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't really throw the left hand. My, my knuckle went, it was, it was a bit, it was a bit uh, from the start, but yeah, he's had been solid. But we kept on throwing, you know, we, we had to, we had to adjust and throw a lot of right hand trying to set it up, but yeah, in the end I just had to keep flicking it out, but yeah, it, yeah, it, we got to take these sacrifices. So you asked for the step up in competition, you got it and you proved yourself. Uh, how do you feel right now after this type of fight? I feel great, I'm, I'm number one in this game and I'm coming for number one. So Palomino, big mush, you're getting it next. So you actually ask, you've been asking for a fight in the US, now you got a US guy here, a very experienced campaigner who fought for world titles before, but next you're going to be out there for sure? Definitely, yeah, number, he's number three in the world, so, you know, I'm in the top five now, I keep taking everyone out, whoever they give me, I'll take out, I'll, I'll, not, I'll not refuse a fight, any man who's, I'll go again tomorrow if they want, I'll go Palomino tomorrow, I'll go anyone, so I, let, get me out to the States, I want to make a noise out there, I'm telling you. 11th bare knuckle fight now, so we're gonna keep going. Keep going until I'm dead. <laughs> you told me pre-fight you had an amazing camp, right? You sparred with James Lilly, and are you at your peak right now? 100% peak, yeah, peaking now. Uh, the healthiest I've ever been. Um, this is just the best, this is the best version of me. And every every camp I'm getting better. Every day I'm visualizing, every, every day I'm getting 1% better. I'll be back in the gym Monday. I'm just, I'm, this is my lifestyle. This isn't just a hobby or a job. My lifestyle every day. Wake up every day waiting to go again. I, I can't sleep because I'm thinking about the next day. I'm, I'm buzzing. I want to go. Listen, this is all my mum said to me one day before she died. She said, I'm going to be in bright lights one day. I'm going to prove to her. It's already there now. She's, she's watching down on me. This is all for her. Make her proud and this is it. I love it. I get to punch people bare knuckle and get paid. I love it. I want to keep helping, inspiring people as well, you know, people with uh, suffering, mental health, um, illnesses, just proving they can do anything. When they put their mind to it, just a bit of sacrifice and discipline, just getting the right mind of mindset, and that is what it is, the mindset. At this level, all it is is mindset, visualising. I'm ready for anyone. Where did you get that strong mindset from? I got it from my mum. She, she suffered for years, and I watched her suffer for years, and I get my mindset off her. So when I'm in the trenches, she's looking down at me saying, what are you doing, you big dosser? Get up there. So yeah, this is it. Love it. This is all for her every day. Every, every night I look out the window and she's there watching me and I'm saying, this is for you. Everything. I, when I'm suffering, I look up and I say, this is for you. This is it. And I, yeah, I know she's there watching, 100%. Love it. Love it. And you've been suffering also. You recovered, but you, you've been on the brink of death as well with your health issues. How much stronger did that make you as well? Oh, massively strong, yeah. I mean, when you go to the rock bottom multiple times, you know, this is, this is just a walk in the park. This is like going to the park and having a little drink. You know, this is, it. This is, this is, this is the moment I live for. When, this is the moment where you're in, that, you're in that moment and it's just you. And you're there just flowing. You're focused. And it just makes you feel alive, this adrenaline. It's, it's addictive. I love it. There's no better feeling in the world. But, yeah, was, oh, honestly, you can't explain it. Love it. You talked about that visualization that you always do. How does that look for you? Walk us through that. Visualization, you know, I like to be on my own. I've got my own gym in my hometown. I go there, lock the door, and it's just me flowing. I'm there visualizing. I'm in the fight, in the gym, and I'm just there on my own visualizing. I swear this is, this is the one. 
Yeah. So, looking back into this fight, was there a certain frustration when he always kept getting up? Uh, what do you think in those moments, or you just kept being patient? A lot of times, um, you know, back in the fights, I used to rush and try and finish him too quick. Uh, you know, I started to, I, I, stepped, I stepped on the bass a bit, like, trying to finish him, just because my hand was sore. And you know, I, I, this is why I've got the best coaches around me. I, I listen. I listen to my coaches. To stay calm and they say, look, be patient, patient, it will come. He's already done, just be patient. So when it got to, was it, I don't know if it was the fifth round, the last round, it, patient, patient, pick them shots and it, he's going to go. So that's what I did. And, you know, even though I had to, you know, adjust with the left hand, patient, picking shots, staying calm and, you know, eventually he's going to go and he did. But it is one tough <laughs> Wow, fair play to Caleb. See, big up Mississippi. <laughs> You came out as the main event fighter in your third fight in BKFC right here. How was it to come out in front of this crowd in Newcastle? Incredible atmosphere. Mate, the atmosphere was unbelievable. So massive respect and thank you for everyone. This is my third fight back to back in the UK and selling tickets is, is tough. You know, it's, people are hard up at the minute and for all these people to come and support me and spend money on me is, is, is amazing. And uh, I'm really grateful for that. And, I appreciate everyone. This is why I love giving back, because people give to me and come support me. So <clears throat> if anyone ever needs anything, I take time out and help them. So yeah, I love it. So uh, I just, I'm glad I just put on a performance for them. They got the money's worth tonight. <laughs> so we know you also have Portuguese heritage, right? Your nickname is Bonbon. Bon. Tell us a little bit about, about that Portuguese side of you. Yeah, Portuguese, uh, half Portuguese. That's why I've got a good tan. <laughs> Top up on the tan, easy. But yeah, the Bonbon, bon, there's, there's no, there's no, uh, there's nothing crazy about that. I just used to eat a lot of bonbons. <laughs> I'm off to go and celebrate with some now. I've even caught my dog it. <laughs> so, what are you going to do now to celebrate tonight? Any plans? Just, um, <laughs> I can't say that, but um, my missus is a <laughs> job, so we're gonna <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, we're going to go and celebrate with a few beers. Uh, me and my missus, we're getting married in August, so we're going to have a nice little break. Three fights back to back. You know, hopefully, there's not too many cuts, so yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna relax, enjoy myself. We're gonna get married, love of my life. Listen, if it weren't for my partner, trust me, I won't be here right now. She supports me every single. It's not just me sacrificing; it's her. And you know, this is why teamwork makes the success. And you know, she's got my back every day. She's been my. She's been financially supporting me for years. And I said, listen, trust me. One day it's gonna pay off, and this is paying off. Everyone, everyone, one of my coaches, um, everyone who supports me. All my sponsors, you know, there's too many to shout out to. Um, production team and everyone who just, everyone who's there support me. Even the little things, you know, even my dogs. <laughs> everybody who supports me. There's a lot of people, but uh, every little thing helps. And I just, I'm really grateful. Really grateful to be in this moment right now and, and just living this. This is just unbelievable. So I'm soaking it up and I'm, I'm enjoying every second. This, I've never felt so good in the ring before. Amazing. Now, if somebody had told you that five years ago, you would be at this stage, in this precise moment, would you have believed them? Would they f away? I mean, I was laid in the hospital bed, and I, you know, I was in the darkest moment of my life, and I just, I, I said to my mum, I was just talking to my mum in the hospital bed, and said, look, I'm going to get to the top, trust me. I said, one day I'm going to get back to the top. Even with this Ill Ilashby bag, this illness is going to motivate me. And this is it, we're back at the top again. I got to the top in BKB, I got to the top in this game. I've got a nice BKB belt in my gym and I said, listen, there's another belt coming and that's BKFC. I'm the best bare knuckle boxer on this planet, trust me. Mindset, coming for you all. Palomino, he's, he's getting it next. He's going to get his head jabbed off. Now, this is your chance, talk straight to him, to Luis Palomino. Luis Palomino, listen, you did James Leon decision. Trust me, I'm going to finish you. First guy to finish you, put you on your ass, trust me. Big Dosser. Rico Franco, Bare Knuckle News. No one beats us to the punch. Bosh!